Now, why do we call, why is this definition that the molecule which contains only single bond is saturated? Why is this given? You see, if there is an alkene, suppose this is C2H4. Now, you see, this double bond, the double bond, if you see, this bond contains two electrons, the shared electrons, with one from this carbon and one from this carbon. So, if we break this bond, Suppose we remove this bond. So there will be two electrons left over here. Now suppose this takes its electron, this takes its electron. This carbon gets its own electron, this carbon also gets its own electron. So there are two free electrons. Now we add two hydrogens. so that this electron can share an electron uh, this electron can be shared with hydrogen's electron and so this the valency of 4 of both the carbons can be satisfied so we need two extra hydrogens for this so basically you are breaking this double bond and adding two hydrogens and you realize that this compound which was ethene has now become ethane see this was not there there was a double bond this was ethene now you break this double bond and add two hydrogens and it has become C2H6 which is ethane so basically what we are doing is that we are breaking one bond out of the double bond and saturating it with hydrogen. So this saturation with hydrogen leads to the formation of this saturated compound which is ethane. So, when you're, even if there is a triple bond over here, if there is a triple bond, there will be two hydrogens less. So, you're breaking one bond and adding two hydrogens. You break another bond and add two more hydrogens. So, this compound which was earlier triple bonded and whose name was ethine when you break just one bond this becomes ethene and when you break this bond of ethene like in the previous thing it becomes ethane. So basically, these compounds which have double and triple bonds, you can break one bond and saturate the compound with hydrogen. So if you are saturating it with hydrogen, it becomes a saturated compound. And since these are not saturated with hydrogen, these are called unsaturated. compounds. So basically, 
if you encounter a double bond or a triple bond anywhere you get unsaturation and if there are no double bonds or triple bonds in the compound then you get a saturated compound so if we take this compound mm, and we add oh before adding double bonds can you try and name this compound just try and name this compound now you see this has only single bonds and it has five carbons so only single bonds means what alkanes so the suffix will be an and one two three four five carbons five carbons means the prefix will be pent so this compound is pentane now suppose now it's pentane it has only single bonds so this is saturated and if we remove two hydrogens and add a double bond over here what it becomes now we have a double bond so it has become an alkene you, you realize that if you can break a double bond and add two hydrogens you can also remove two hydrogens and make this double bond just the opposite so this is what i have done over here remove the two hydrogens over here and made this double bond so now this compound has a double bond so it has it is an alkene so the suffix will be en and it has five carbons so again pentene now if we remove now this uh before removing this compound is it saturated or unsaturated now that we have a double bond over here then that means you can break this and saturate it with hydrogen again to make it pentane so this compound will be unsaturated now suppose we remove two more hydrogens and add one more bond now this is a triple bond and since it is a triple bond it's an alkyne now an alkyne will have the suffix in and the prefix since again the number of carbon remains constant which is 5 this will be called pentane and this is also since it contains a triple bond which can be broken and the compound can be saturated with hydrogen to make pentene and again from pentene you make pentane so this compound is also unsaturated now what if i remove two hydrogens from another carbon atom and add a double bond over here now let's not going to the naming of this so will it remain unsaturated or will it be saturated this you see it still contains triple bond and it has another double bond 
So, this way will also be unsaturated and this since it has lesser number of hydrogen that is more number of double and triple bonds you can break more number of bonds and add more hydrogen to saturate them so it is more unsaturated than what was there previously or you can say that pentine that is this compound is more saturated than this compound so don't get confused if you encounter a triple as well as a double bond if you have only one double bond is sufficient to make it unsaturated if there is no double or triple bond then only it is saturated if it has triple bonds double bonds multiple double bonds i mean it could be a long chain of triple double bonds like that that is also unsaturated and that will be more unsaturated than the compound having lesser number of double and triple bonds